Hey everyone, my name's Tom from WPWithTom.com and today I'm going to go over how to add a subdomain on HostGator. Hey everyone, in this lecture we're going to learn how to add a subdomain on HostGator. So what we're going to need to do first is find our HostGator email that we've gotten from them. In my case, it says your account info as the title of the email. And you're going to see this error here. We're going to have to click on this control panel link and we'll open up in a new tab. Then you have to input your username and password. I've actually changed my password already. And we'll go and put that information in now. Then we'll log in. It says log in successful. They're redirecting us to the control panel now. And here we go. In here, I'm going to X out of this first. In here, we can scroll down. And this is actually a very simple process. We can go to where it says domains in this section here, domains. And we'll click subdomains. In my case, my root domain here, my main domain is wpwithtom.com. And if we wanted to, I could just put in test site 2, for example. And then I'll click outside of here and it will automatically populate this area with the document root area. And I'll just click create. And at this point, we have successfully created the subdomain name. If we wanted to, we can go back and click home here in the upper left. And now we can go down and we can click to install WordPress if that's what you want to do. And we can do that through the quick install area here in the software and services and to install WordPress we would simply when we get to this page click WordPress in the upper left which is right here and now it will take us down to this area and it will say install WordPress for free and I'm just going to click install WordPress for free and here's where I populate this information since it was test site 2.wpwithtom.com that's what we would click on. And then here's where you'd add your admin email. I'm going to just add in my regular email. Your blog title, you can make just about anything you want because you can change this later. You can also change this later. But this is important if you have to retrieve the password when you're first logging in and you don't remember it, it will be sent to this email if you ask for it to be. Here's where you put your admin username. I would put something other than admin here just for security purposes. So I'm just going to put Tom Johnson like I normally seem to do. And here I'm going to add my first name, last name, and then I'll just click install WordPress. Now depending on your hosting setup and if you've already installed WordPress on other things or if this is your first uh, subdomain you're adding, it usually should only take a few minutes since it is a subdomain. You'll click on view, view credentials here. And up here, you'll want to copy this info, and I would save it into another document for now. And this is the link you will log in through with this username and password being put in. So I hope this tutorial was helpful on how to add a subdomain on HostGator. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. Thanks, everyone.